Oh, there's my hams. <laughs> Welcome back. Here it is. You may be tempted to drink these, but don't. That's because your favorite drinks are now candles. That's right. In fact, I got one of the hams candles last year for my birthday, and then I went back and bought a bunch of them for my family members for the holidays as well. So cool. I love that because hams is a tradition yes. in Tiff's family. And we are here with the owner and artist of Lit MKE, Mike Bates. He creates handmade soy wax scented candles made from repurposed liquor, wine, and beer bottles and cans. He also does non-alcoholic beverages. You can see some LaCroix. Little LaCroix right here. We're super excited to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. These are so fun and I can, they smell fantastic. Thanks. Are they all scented the same? Uh, no, they're all different. I try to put a fragrance in each that kind of complements what's in the bottle or what's on the label or what kind of drink you make with it. Some of them are a little straightforward, like this uh, orange vodka. Obviously, it's going to smell like orange, but oh, cool. my most popular fragrance is this oak moss and amber that I put in all my bourbon, mm. scotches, and whiskeys. Oh, right here. Okay, because I'm it's like an oak barrel that the whiskey's cast in. So, so here's yeah. this one right here. I'm going to just take a quick yeah, you gotta sniff smell of this. that. Because what is the scent again? It's called oak moss and amber. Okay, in the maker's mark. Okay. And Ooh, this is yeah. one thing I got to say right away because a lot of people are trying to move away from regular wax and use soy, and you mm -hmm. use soy wax. Right. Mm -hmm. So clean burn, yep. and that's what you're going to get in all your candles. Yep, and that um, cotton wicks too, so you won't get any black soot around the rim or on your ceiling for your, or your lungs for that matter. Awesome. And then just this year too, I ordered some coconut wax, and I'm going to try to introduce that in 2019 to try to make them burn even cleaner, longer, and give more of a warm throw off when you light them. So I'm Love trying that. to constantly improve. So cool. That's a big why, deal. Why aren't they sharp at the top? Because you think of, you cut off the top of a bottle, it's it's not going to be it's so smooth at the top. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a process. Um, I learned to cut them, and then I hand sand these all of them by hand. So, and while I'm doing that, I'm melting the wax, adding the fragrance, cutting the wick, and I do it all out of my apartment downtown on Brady Street. So. No way. Mm -hmm. How long That's have you been wild. doing that? About three and a half years. I used to be a bartender and I just hated seeing all that glass go in the trash yeah. and I wanted to do something about it because, you know, the art on the labels are so cool they and are. then so many people keep their bottles for sentimental value but they just collect dust. Mm -hmm. So I thought it'd be awesome if we could do, like, get these bottles out of the trash and make them functional. And my girlfriend, she's an opera singer, she was gone for six months on a tour. So I had a little time and space to get busy on something. So <laughs> here we are. Yeah, I've been a, been a full time candle maker ever since for about three and a half years now. Wow. So, yeah. so do you do custom orders? Because I was hitting you up yeah. before this segment asking. Yeah, totally. Because, like you said, there's, I mean, we have wine bottles, mm -hmm. we have some liquor bottles that just mean a lot to us. For sure. And that's something that we can bring to you. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've worked with. A champagne bottle that was 40 years old wow. uh, from a couple that's been married forever, and oh. uh, yeah, it's those are my favorite orders because you just never know what you're gonna get, and yeah. you can make them so personal. And then you can also choose what type of fragrance you want in them too, so it can be like ultra personal. So. That's so neat. Wow. Now, where can people find your candles? I'm guessing they don't all come to your apartment on Bradley <laughs> Street. <laughs> well, <laughs> a little bit, but uh, yeah, I I get out quite a bit. Mm. Um, I go. Um, all around the state of Wisconsin and the city of Milwaukee. Um, I'm going to be at the New Milwaukee Night Market this Wednesday. Okay. And then it's it kind of worked out awesome uh, with the last upcycling se segment. This Saturday, I'll be at the show called MKE Upcycle. Cool. It's on Antiques on Pierce, and I'm also bringing my coffee cart there. So I have a coffee business, so you can check out my candles and my coffee. Wow. But I have stuff booked uh, every weekend and during the week till the end of November before wow. the holidays but Good I'm al I'm also in a couple stores around town too a lot of the local like yeah. the Pabst Hams and old Milwaukee stuff you can find at urban Milwaukee downtown in Milwaukee I'm also mm -hmm. in, in Kitchiku in Greendale Thirsty Hammer in Cedarburg <laughs> Marigold Marketplace in Menominee Falls and then uh, <laughs> Copper and Pearls in Oak Creek so all so great I'm names. obsessed with what you do I really am Thanks. I think this is so, so cool, cool. What, uh, what what's on the horizon for you what's gonna be new well yeah I uh, mentioned about that coconut wax that yeah. I want to um, learn how to make even cleaner burning candles I mean soy is amazing yeah. but if we can make it better why not uh, and then I also am going to start working with maybe beeswax wicks. Cool. And then, yeah, just trying to expand and get more people to become excited about making functional 
items out of what would be trash. I'm just so like excited. Just we talked about before, and I love what you're, you're just, it seems like you're always growing and trying to make it the most environmentally sound, the yeah. safest, using natural ingredients. It's absolutely fantastic. Mm. People can find you on Facebook and Instagram. So if you want to know where he is this weekend or where you can find Mike this week, um, go to his Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash lit MKE, or he's at lit MKE on Instagram. Beautiful stuff. I'm obsessed with Great what you do. You. Thanks. That's right. Oh, and they're also refillable too. So the ones that you got, you can always give them back to me and I can repour them. And I do refills for tips, or you can give me a six pack of beer. <laughs> that way I get free beer. <laughs> and I can make candles out of whatever you give me. So you are amazing. We're all good. Oh, I That's love you, Mike. Right. <laughs> You're one of my favorite okay. new people ever. <laughs> Thank you so much. You Great to it. see you.